Today we will be discussing molecular orbital theory and under MOT we will be discussing MO diagrams of uh, cobalt ammonia 6 3 plus complex and cobalt F6 E minus complex. Uh, both these complexes are octahedral complex. Only difference is that ammonia is a strong field decant while fluorine will be a weak field decant. Uh, in this particular complex, uh, the electronic configuration of cobalt as we know it is uh, argon 3D7 4H2 4P0 and uh, in this particular complex oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3 so uh, the electronic configuration will be argon 3d6 4a0 4b0 so over here uh, in the formation of molecular orbitals uh, the orbitals that will participate are 3d 4h and 4p now in molecular orbital theory uh, these orbitals they are uh, represented uh, by their respective uh, molecular symbols and the molecular symbol for s orbital it is a1g p orbital it is t1u that is a triplet uh, one and angirat for you further we all know that the 3d orbitals they split into eg and t2g uh, where we have uh, doubly degenerate eg and triply degenerate uh, t2g uh, while the ligand group orbitals uh, for the ammonia will have the same symmetry that is a1g eg and T t1u so these orbitals of the ligand will uh, form molecular orbital with the respective uh, orbitals of uh, the metals uh, which are present so uh, mo diagram we can draw in this particular manner uh, that is eg of metal will combine with eg of the ligand and we will get uh, eg is doubly degenerate so we can get uh, bonding eg and e star it represents anti bonding eg further we have a1g of metal will combine with a1g of the ligand and uh, as a result we will get a1g bonding and a1 star g which is the anti bonding and t1u of metal will combine with t1u of ligand and as a result uh, we will get t1u bonding and t1 star u uh, anti bonding and further uh, we are left with t2g orbitals so this t2g orbitals will remain in the non-bonding state so these are the non-bonding uh, orbitals and we are discussing only here sigma bonding uh, so we are only concerned with sigma bonding if now as we all know that the ligand brings uh, the six pair of uh, electrons and uh, for cobalt plus three uh, we have a d6 system so it has a six electron six electrons in 3d orbital the energy of orbitals of ligand is lesser as compared to uh, the metal and, uh, and the bonding molecular orbital will have characteristic of the ligand and similarly the anti-bonding molecular orbital will have the characteristic of metal and the non-bonding will have will be purely metallic characteristic on the pair of electrons that are brought by the ligand they go in the bonding molecular orbital after the bonding molecular orbitals are filled up the uh, the electrons of the metals are filled so over here uh, when we are filling up the electrons uh, so first uh, all the electrons uh, that is all the electrons of ammonia uh, will be filled in the bonding molecular orbital in this particular manner now once the electrons are filled then electrons of metal are filled now again as i have told that ammonia is a strong field ligand the splitting energy or the magnitude of splitting energy will be higher and as a result once we are filling up single electron now the fourth electron will not go in eg as the splitting energy that is delta o is greater than pairing energy and as a result now the electrons will be paired in t2g and hence all the six electrons will remain in t2g and this is the final MO diagram of a cobalt ammonia 6. Ammonia being a strong field ligand, the complex is a low spin complex and as all the electrons are paired or as there are no unpaired electron, the complex is a diamagnetic complex. Next we have a cobalt F6 3 minus. Now again over here also a cobalt is a d6 uh, system and uh, as i have told fluorine is a weak field ligand so the magnitude of splitting will be very less again we have uh, the same thing uh, that is ligands ligand will have a1g eg and t1u uh, orbitals and similarly we have a1g t1u and eg so this 
uh, orbitals of metal will combine with the orbitals of the ligand that is ligand group orbitals and as a result we will get their respective bonding as well as their antibonding uh, molecular orbital now further again uh, this electrons uh, that is the electrons of ligands will be filled in the bonding molecular orbital once all the electrons are filled in the bonding molecular orbitals uh, the other orbitals that is uh, the after once all the bonding orbitals are filled or once all the electrons are filled if the bonding molecular orbitals are vacant then the electrons of metal will come in the bonding molecular orbitals if they are not vacant then they will go in either non-bonding or anti-bonding molecular orbitals when we are filling uh, metal electrons then one two three now as the magnitude of pleating is less than pairing energy at that particular time now the pairing will not take place and as a result the electrons will go in eg so uh, first three electrons will go in t2g non-bonding fourth and the fifth electron will go in eg anti-bonding and the sixth electron will come in t2g non-bonding so uh, this is the mo diagram of uh, cobalt f6 now as this complex has four unpaired electrons the complex will be a paramagnetic complex and uh, we have weak field ligand so this is a high spin complex high spin complex of weak field ligand and low spin complex of strong field uh, ligand so this is our mo diagram specifically only sigma bonding mo diagram of uh, cobalt f6 and this is mo diagram for cobalt ammonia 363 plus complex thank you